Is that spot on your skin a normal mole, or is it melanoma? This is one of the most important questions dermatologists are trained to answer. Here is the really crazy thing. Melanoma is very tricky. Did you know that melanomas are not always easy to see dark brown or black spots? They can actually be white spots on the skin. Did you know that? Melanoma can be a white spot. It can even be a pink or red spot, or yellow to blue to really light tan to dark brown to black. And sometimes it won't have much color at all, but rather look like a sore on the skin that won't heal or bleeds occasionally. And sometimes it can be a bump under the skin that doesn't look like much on top of the skin. Do you see how tricky this can be? And the scary thing is, melanoma is one of the most deadly forms of skin cancer. In fact, it is one of the most common kinds of cancer in young adults. Unlike some other forms of skin cancer, melanoma tends to be more aggressive and has a higher risk of metastasizing or spreading inside the body, which increases your chance of death. So the absolute most important key here is that early detection of melanoma matters. If detected early, it is highly treatable and even curable. If detected late, the survival rate goes way down. Now, melanoma can occur in young people even though we more frequently see it in people over 50. It can occur in any skin color, although it is more common in Caucasians. Melanoma can occur anywhere on the body, not just sun-exposed areas, because it is not only linked to UV exposure. You can get melanoma in the eye, on your nails, between your toes, the palms of the hands, soles of the feet, on the scalp, hiding in your hair, anywhere you have skin, including all the areas where the sun doesn't shine. So that leads me to giving you a key takeaway point here, and this could save your life. Check your skin. Patients are often the first ones to find their melanoma, not the dermatologist. So check your skin and check it often. And when you do that, you may find yourself asking, is this a mole or is this melanoma? So in this video, I'm going to give you a few tips for looking after yourself. Most importantly, you should see a board certified dermatologist for regular skin checks and definitely if you have any concerns with your skin. Tip number one, the ugly duckling. Okay, so when you check your skin, you are probably going to find some moles. Most people have moles. Some people have just a few, and others may have hundreds. Keep in mind that there are different kinds of moles. Some are raised and some are flat, and both of those can be normal. Get to know what your moles look like and what is normal to you on your skin. For the most part, all of your moles should look very similar. But do you spot an ugly duckling on your skin? I'm talking about one mole that just doesn't look like the others. This is not normal, and it is a concerning sign. Circle that mole and go show a dermatologist. Remember, the only way to diagnose a melanoma is with a skin biopsy. This is a procedure performed by a medical professional, ideally a trained board-certified dermatologist, where a sample of the spot is removed and evaluated under the microscope. A specialized doctor called a pathologist will examine it to determine if it's melanoma. Tip two. Are any of your current moles changing over time? If any of your moles are growing larger, changing color, becoming symptomatic, bleeding, etc., that is concerning. Changes like these are not normal for moles and may be a sign that it's melanoma. Circle it and go see a dermatologist. So here's the thing, not all melanoma comes from a changing mole. In fact, most melanomas don't occur this way. Most melanomas occur de novo, meaning they just pop up on normal skin as melanoma. It was never a mole to start with. And that brings us to tip number three. Do you have a new spot on your skin that you just noticed? This might not be normal, and this is how most melanomas present. So just to be clear about the development and progression of normal benign moles, you typically develop these in childhood. The moles will grow as you grow, and then you kind of stop getting new moles. So if you see a new spot develop on your skin later in life, that is possibly not normal, and it may be the earliest sign of your melanoma. You know the drill, circle it and get it checked. 
And tip number four, do any of your spots violate the A, B, C, D, E's? This is a really easy mnemonic to remember when checking your skin. A stands for asymmetry. If you put a mirror down the middle of the skin spot, does it look the exact same on both sides? If not, that is not normal. B stands for border. Is the border perfectly round or is it jagged? Jagged borders are not normal. C stands for color. One nice uniform color throughout the whole spot is normal. Multiple colors or color variation is not normal. D stands for diameter. Normal spots are typically smaller than a pencil head eraser. Larger than that can be a sign of concern. And E stands for evolution. So is it changing in any way, which I already discussed, is potentially abnormal. Tip number five, is your spot symptomatic? If you have a spot or a bump on the skin that is not healing, bleeding, painful, irritated, scaly, itchy, or some other symptom, that is not normal. It may or may not be melanoma, but regardless, it's still not normal. And frankly, symptoms like this can be associated with all forms of skin cancer, not just melanoma, so get it checked. Here is something important for you to also keep in mind. Melanoma or other skin cancers don't necessarily have to be symptomatic at all. In fact, many are silent, meaning it's just a bump or a spot on your skin that you don't even know is there because it's not causing you any trouble at all. Again, skin cancer can be very tricky and elusive. Now let's play a little game to see if you can spot the melanoma. These are images I pulled from reputable websites for illustration purposes only. I cannot confirm these diagnoses. Is this an eczema or dry skin spot? Or is this melanoma? This is an amelanotic melanoma, the variant that I mentioned at the beginning of this video that is a white to pink spot on the skin. These are typically more aggressive and get detected much later. Here is another example of an amelanotic melanoma. Okay, next, is this a cyst or is this melanoma? This is a melanoma. Sometimes these can feel like bumps that are actually under the skin, very similar to how cysts present. How about this one? Is this a mole or is this melanoma? This is another melanoma. You can see that this one violates several of the A, B, C, D, E's of skin cancer. Is this an age spot or is this melanoma? This is melanoma in situ, meaning a thin, early detected melanoma. If this is treated early, it can be cured. These are very tricky to spot, especially when it's located on sun-damaged skin among benign sunspots. Is this dark black spot a mole or is it melanoma? This is actually a blue nevus, which is a type of mole. It is not a melanoma, but if you see a spot like that, definitely get that checked. What you should take away from this is that melanoma can look a lot of ways, not just like a dark black spot. And it can mimic a lot of benign or normal things on the skin. When a melanoma looks like a benign spot, they often go undetected by you for a long time. Remember, late stage detection leads to poor outcomes and increases your risk of death. So we want to catch any and all melanomas as early as possible for a chance at a cure. If you have risk factors for melanoma, such as many atypical moles on your body or a family history of melanoma, you need to have a lower threshold for concern and should definitely be checked by a dermatologist. So what questions do you have about visiting a dermatologist? Comment below. And I've also linked other resources in the description so you can learn more about melanoma. See you guys soon.